All right, so the Android device I've been waiting for has arrived. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of it to show you what it comes with. Uh, haven't opened it myself yet either. So, the info of the unit will be in the description. Uh, don't know much about it. I saw it on some Asian websites and it states that it works with the factory remote touch on the Lexus. So, I decided to give it a chance and give it a try. Box has no real markings. It's just a regular box. Here are the items inside. Velcro tape. A couple of harnesses. Video cable. Jiva. Another harness. USB extensions. Composite. Another composite. Oh, these are inputs. This is input. And these are outs. This is the video cable that interfaces with the original screen. What's this? To touch. Okay, this is to touch screen cars if you want to add your own. I don't think I'm going to be using this. I'm going to just use the joystick in the car, the OEM mouse. Put that aside. Screen power cable. I think this is for touchscreen also. I don't think I'm going to use this. I read the manual, so it feels like these parts are not used unless you're doing touchscreen. On the IS third gen, the screen's really up high there, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna really try to want to reach up there anyway. Do everything with the joystick mouse. It's a GPS antenna, also. Uh, speaker. Supposedly, this thing allows you to go into the Android mode, but not have sound and you can still listen to the radio or CD but still see the picture of the Android and I guess this is the speaker for like if you want to use Google Maps but still listen to the radio the sound will come out of the speaker instead for vehicles like with Mark Levinson or amplified sound system cars uh, non, non and here is the main harness wow it's huge it's the size of my hand. Connectors. It's wrapped up in fabric tape. Kind of like what they use in BMW cars. With some wires. Cam power. Reverse seat. Probably reverse camera. Um, that's. I, I think in other markets they don't have backup cameras from the factory. Uh, but in America, they typically do if it's a navigation car and they state that the factory camera still works, so hopefully it does. Once I install it in the actual car, we'll know for sure then. Possibly, maybe I have to hook up these reverse wire. Who knows? The instructions weren't really clear, but I'm just going to plug and play and see what happens first and then go from there. One more plug that plugs into the back of the stereo besides this one. And the module itself, they just wrapped it up in some bubble bubble envelope. Let's try to get it out without the damage. And here is the module. These are our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Kind of I'm not really excited the way they did this, kind of cheap looking, but hey, if it gets a job done, it should be okay. And 
And I'll show you all sides of it. USB touch. Oh, it's kind of kind of coming off already, I think. And here's a sticker on the bottom. Eight so this is out the this is out the cars. Mouse. They don't know how to spell mouse. M O S E is not how you spell mouse. Alright, so basically this plugs in here. Nice and tight. Uh, GPS antenna GPS antenna plugs in there There's double sided tape to mount it somewhere. There's the video interface cable. Goes into LVDS. This will be routed to the factory screen in the dashboard. This one looks into here. DVR, left video in, DV in, so, it's a lot of ins, a lot of ins on this one right here. Yeah, a lot of input. D TV in and out. Okay. Oh. So there's some dip switches right there. I gotta read the instructions, see if I need to flip them. Not sure. I'll message them too, probably. And that's the USB. So there's USB 2, USB 1, and the last one is called, it's just USB. And there's a actual card in here, which is probably the actual Android, I'm assuming. Now let's push, push to release. Looks like it's a Scandus brand. Wonder if it's real. <laughs> it says eight gigabytes. So they claim the ROM was 16 gigabytes. So hopefully the Android is not on there and that's just like additional storage space. Okay, so I was curious about what was on that micro SD card, and this is what's on there. I go maps. Actually, that's a really good thing that they provide this. Probably a hacked version, but hey, anything that's included with it, that's pretty cool. This is offline maps, basically. Hopefully there is uh, US. So that's all the pieces. Um, I'll try to find some time next week to install it and tell you what I think about it, if it's good or bad. Hopefully it's good because this was a lot of money 
and nobody else has tried this before that I know of in America. So I'm the first and hopefully this is a good unit. Hopefully this thing works out good. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the install and usage.